Meghan Markle's relationship with courtiers was discussed as part of a new documentary examining Prince William and Prince Harry's relationship with the press. The Duchess of Sussex allegedly locked horns with royal aides over a divergence of views over the role she would have once she married into the family. Presenter Amol Rajan spoke to royal experts on the BBC documentary The Princes and the Press. Mr Rajan said, despite the leaks during this period, none of these stories actually appear in the media. Author Anna Pasternak claimed, Meghan had this agenda that once she was a member of the royal family, she was going to have this platform and she was going to have her voice. The one thing that cannot have as a member of the royal family is your voice. And I think that she rubbed up against a lot of the cultures and a lot of people very quickly. Camilla Tomini added, the mantra of the palace is very much what should we do next? What did we do before? It's not, let's tear everything up, and I think Harry and Meghan very much wanted to change things and were saying things like, well, why do we have to do this? Why can't we do it differently? We don't want to do it. The Queen's former press secretary today let rip at the BBC's decision to release a two-part documentary hosted by anti-monarchist Amol Rajan about William and Harry's tumultuous relationship after Megxit as the royals and their lawyers threatened to go to war with the corporation over disputed claims in the show. The Duke of Cambridge, the Queen and Prince Charles are reportedly threatening to boycott the broadcaster over the two-part series believed to contain incendiary claims about the brothers smearing each other in the press and a row over whether the BBC failed to give the royals a proper right of reply. The monarch and her heirs are together expected to collectively complain to regulator Ofcom for the first time in history, with lawyers braced to launch action after it begins at 9 p.m. Buckingham Palace is also said to be concerned that avowed Republican Amol Rajan who once called the monarchy absurd, was chosen to present the show, on tonight. The Queen's former press secretary Dickie Arbiter said the choice of Mr Rajan calls in to question the whole business about the BBC and bias. Will it be an honest appraisal? There's a big question mark over that. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams told, the decision of the Queen, Prince Charles and Prince William to make their reported concerns about the two-part BBC programme tonight so public makes it clear that they believe the programs may contain incendiary material. The reported protests from the palace obviously run the risk of increasing the viewing figures, but clearly the content may be such that the palace feels that the public should be warned that, if they watch, they are seeing a point of view which may be strongly disputed. Sources told that Mr Rajan, 38, is experienced enough to put his views to one side. Part 1 this evening is about the Prince's relationship with the media and charts the years leading up to and including the engagement and marriage of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex from the Queen's Diamond Jubilee in 2012, according to the BBC website. Part 2 examines the period from 2018 to 2021, a tumultuous time for the royals that includes the birth of Archie Mountbatten Windsor and the royal tours of the Sussexes and the Cambridges. Richard Fitzwilliam said, BBC guidelines require all news and current affairs documentaries to offer an appropriate and timely opportunity to respond according to the Ofcom Broadcasting Code. Surely, after the debacle of Panorama, a shameful debacle almost beyond belief, it is appropriate here? Although the contents of the programs have not been revealed, it is an incontrovertible fact that the royal family have not been given a chance to view them or to respond to any claims made in them. So the BBC faces further controversy which was surely in its interests to avoid and which surely contravenes its own guidelines?